Learn about a change of duty taking place in the Iowa City Police Department. Plus, discover how you can keep up to speed with the city's budget process. And finally, don't miss your chance to take part in a brand new shopping crawl. We'll have these stories and more coming right up on Iowa City Update. The Iowa City Police Department has a role where an officer is designated to communicate with the public, and that responsibility is about to change hands. Sergeant Scott Gardy has served as the department's public information officer for the past three years. This crucial role acts as a spokesperson for the PD to communicate with the public and media during times of need. Gardy says the position gave him a new appreciation for the role police play in our community. I think the, the one thing that I really took away from it is certainly a different perspective of looking at the police department as opposed to just kind of uh, responding to, uh, to scenes and addressing the issue at hand. This gives you a little bit more of a 30,000 feet view and kind of look at it statistically speaking as well as what, the, what interests uh, the, the normal public as opposed to just the law enforcement perspective. Taking over those responsibilities will be Sergeant Derek Frank, who has been an officer for nearly 20 years. Frank is looking forward to taking on the task, including growing the department's social media presence. Our involvement in social media is going to continue to grow and, and I'm excited for that and learning how to use social media in, in different ways to you know, benefit the, the public and the community. I'm jumping in with both feet and I'm going to learn on the job. Have you been following along as the city sets its budget? If not, there's still time to get informed. You can watch the first few discussions on the proposed budget by going to citychannel4.com slash video. There you can find a portion of a work session that was held on January 6th, as well as the entire Capital Improvements Project's presentation from January 9th. These meetings provide a snapshot of the city's financial status and offer a detailed outline of the costs that come with providing services to our community. A final budget must be approved by March 15th, so continued discussions will take place in regular city council work sessions and council meetings between now and then. Our friends at the Iowa City Downtown District are introducing another fun event this week. Friday night will be the first ever Downtown Hot Cocoa Crawl beginning at 5 p.m. The event is a winter version of the popular Summer Shop Crawl. Participants will first meet at Old Capital Town Center before going from store to store to enjoy hot cocoa and toddies, appetizers, and checking out special winter sales at select downtown businesses. Tickets are $15 and include a tin hot cocoa mug, downtown Iowa City gloves, drinks, and of course, great deals. You can order tickets online or purchase them during the event kickoff. That's our show for this week. Check out our social media sites to get daily updates on the projects, programs, and people of Iowa City. We'd like to welcome back university students and faculty from winter break. Best of luck on the upcoming semester. We'll see you next week on Iowa City Update.